Hey guys, it's Julie. Um, so how have y'all been? <laughs> um, I haven't posted a video in a, a little bit, I don't think. Um, <clears throat> maybe a couple weeks, maybe. I can't remember. But uh, this is a reveal. Um, I'm really excited for this one because there's no videos out there. Um, when I was going to make the purchase... I, of course, you know, did a little research and um, read the reviews. And you know how sometimes on Dooney.com, um, people will, in the review, you know, you can have the option, you know, to post a picture of your bag. And I always really appreciate those pictures because it lets you know, like, the true color of the bag. And there wasn't any. <laughs> there wasn't any pictures. So, um, this is from I Love Dooney, and I think you all are going to appreciate this because probably a lot of us have wanted to know what this bag looks like. I mean, I did. So, here she is, and I went ahead and unboxed her. She's looking a little brighter pink than she really is. Maybe this other light. It's storming outside, so it's already dark. Maybe I'll take you all to the kitchen. Maybe it'll look a little bit better. But this is a nylon bag. It's the Hot Pink Medium Satchel. Um, they had it on I Love Dooney. I think it only lasted for maybe a day. I spotted it, and I was like, oh my gosh. And they had it on sale for $118, um, only in this color, which I'm right now I'm shopping for bags um, for summer. I only wanted like a few because... I've got that um, oyster zip zip um, that I plan on, you know, breaking out in the spring. And um, I was wanting a, a few other bags, and I thought that this would be a, a nice nylon um, material to use. It smells really good. And I was afraid that it was going to be too big. Um, they say it's 15 wide, um, or length, sorry. I mean, and she does look big, but I was afraid on me she was going to look gigantic. And I don't feel like she does. I mean, I think she looks perfect size. I mean, I wouldn't want her any bigger. Um, but this is like, you know, my other nylon bag. And then this material feels a lot thicker than this one. It doesn't make quite the same sound. <laughs> We can make music. <laughs> okay, so the reason I didn't do an actual unboxing on this is because, you know, that nylon, <clears throat> this nylon bag, it didn't, it didn't come stuffed. So I was just afraid that this was, you know, going to come unstuffed. So I wanted to actually open her up and print like a towel in her or something and see what the shape was going to be. Um, but it, it already was packaged nicely. So she's got the rolled handles, the double stitch, I guess you call it. My dog's upset because I'm not paying attention to him. But I love, ever since my Buckley, I love these handles. And she's got the knotted um, zip pull. I love it. And she seems pretty, pretty smooth. I might take some wax paper to her just to give her a little bit more smoothness. And then, she's pretty stiff still, but I mean, that will relax. And she's got the tassels. So she's got her tassels there. I'll just do un... Do un like, just do one right now. <laughs> but I like how she's got the plate. Dooney and Burke. Love that. I mean, she's good. This is a really hard base. I don't know, maybe if I get all the stuffing out of her, if she won't be, feel so hard. I mean, she was stuffed good. Sorry if y'all don't like to figure the paper. Being so dark in here, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see on the inside. But this is my first, like, satchel. Like this. Okay, so I got her unstuffed now. 
She's still holding her shake. <laughs> okay, so on the inside, she's still got the green suede, even though that this is nylon. She's got the red interior. Yeah, she's red. Almost there for a second. I thought it was pink. But she's got your normal Dooney setup. She's got... She's got that bigger slip pocket and the zipper compartment. And then on this side, she's got that snap and then the smaller slit. So I kind of feel like this lining in here is a little bit looser. Like, look, I can take it out. Sorry, getting it fixed. But yeah. This is it, guys. It's got the key keeper, of course. She's just like a lot of you all, you know, that have these types of satchels that have it in the um, the Florentine leather or the pebble leather. Um, I mean, it's just the same thing, except this is nylon. And this is the hot pink. She's the medium size, so she's 15 across. I was really worried that she was going to be, like, so big. But then when I got her out, I was like, well, she ain't that bad. I thought it'd be cute for spring and summer. And she's hot pink. And she's so cute. Now, the it did come with a strap here. And I was worried that I wouldn't like the strap. But I figured that if I didn't like it, then I could use this strap if I wanted to. Because I don't... I mean, I've got crossbody bags, but I'll be honest, I don't use them that much unless I'm, you know, going shopping or, you know, where I need to be hands-free. I don't use hands-free on a daily basis. Let's see. I think I got her on the shortest one. Sorry. It's kind of, it's real stiff because it's so new. I'm going to have to um, condition the leather on this. I can already tell. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But she looks like she's got some cracking going on just a little bit. I mean, it's not too terribly bad, but she's going to need some tender loving care. <laughs> just a little bit. But, yeah, for 118 and I'm, I don't own, you know, a satchel in this style, I, I jumped on it. I really did. Alright, let's get back to this strap business. Okay, so I got her on the shorter one. kind of too long for me. I don't know. I feel like most of my satchel bags now, I just, it's just so much easier to just to grab it this way. So, um, I've always wanted to try to figure out how you girls double, do the double strap thing. I, I've watched the videos and then I've tried to duplicate it and I, I swear, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I guess that's when the blonde kicked get like kicks in or something but she's got gold tone hardware and this this nylon is a lot thicker than this one of course I got this one on I Love Dooney too and I thought this was the newer nylon but maybe this one is I mean it's thick but that's it that's all I had for you all um I mean there's really not too much to show other than the appearance of the bag. That's what I was wor more worried about was the appearance. Um, Cause I didn't, I just didn't know what to expect with nylon in this type of satchel. Um, but the inside of her is just like, you know, your Florentine or your pebble leather uh, satchels that smile. <laughs> and um, another just like update, um, Dooney Attic 615. I'm going to try to do um, a challenge. Um, 
I've got one other bag that I'm wanting to add um, to my summer collection and then I'm done and I'm hoping that that'll be be done by tomorrow um, I've been using this bag and I'm going on about a week and a half now I, I love this bag um, she actually you know fits on my shoulder she doesn't slide off um, she's comfortable I usually just rest my arm like this um, she's really really comfortable and I'm bidding on one on eBay right now um, while well, I'm watching it anyway so hopefully I'll be able to bid and get her um, but it's this bag in um, strawberry and she's brand new with tags um, and all that good stuff so I'm hoping that I get her and I can have her in my collection for summer and spring and then I'll be able um, you know to be like Dooney Attic 615 and do a challenge and um, do a bag ban because I'm, I, I feel like I'm really happy with my collection right now and um, I did watch um, the Dooney um, shows on QVC over the weekend but I didn't really see anything that I was like oh I have to have it um, I did get my mom on to the, the Dooney kick and I'll tell you this um, I told, I think maybe I didn't tell you all, I maybe posted in the post, the purse forum, but uh, she likes my zip zip satchel and the Salfiano, and she decided that she wanted one, which I was kind of upset with her a little bit because I showed, I showed her mine when I got it back like in October, and I had ordered the elephant, and I decided, you know, that I wanted the black one, and I was going to send back the elephant, and I had contemplated on getting her that one for Christmas that way I wouldn't have to send it back and um, she said no I don't really like it it's too stiff and um, we went out to the movies um, at like in Jan it was January beginning of January and uh, she said she really liked my black one because I was carrying it and she was like modeling it <laughs> had it on her arm she had put it on her shoulder and all this stuff and um, she said, yeah, you can give me one of those for Christmas this, you know, this year. And I was like, but I was going to last year. And um, she said, yeah, but that was different. And I think it was because maybe mine softened. I don't know, because she, she kept saying how it's softer. But I showed her the same exact one. I don't know what she was thinking. But uh, she decided that she wanted the dark gray. So I ordered that one because they had it posted on Isle of Dooney. And it was like 119. I paid 253 for mine, so um, I ordered her that one. And then while I ordered that one, she ordered herself a Bitsy bag in the Safiano and the Brown tomorrow. So now she's got two, <laughs> all in like within a week's period. She's like us, I guess. She's starting to become a Dooney Nista. But uh, yeah, she she really she really like likes them. So she had, um, she came over over the weekend and she had her Bitsy bag crossbody and she was saying, because she's a lot taller and <laughs> like a bean pole, um, she was saying how she wished that the strap was a little bit shorter. I was like, well, you can take it somewhere or just, you know, punch you another hoe in it. But, um, and then I gave her that dark gray um, zip zip. And she went ahead and changed into that one. So I said, how the girls at work like it? <laughs> you know how we, I mean, that's our work family. That's who we see every day. So she said that they liked it. And then I told them about I Love Dooney. Her mom already knew about I Love Dooney, but she told them about I Love Dooney. And um, so I don't know. I'm spreading the word, I guess. But um, I'm going to eat some dinner. And I just wanted to show you all, you know, this bag. I think they still have this particular color on Dooney.com. They did have it marked down to maybe 148 the last time I checked. Um, but the black one, I guess they're no longer making it because for the longest time it was on pre-order. And that was at Christmas time. Um, but they don't um, they don't make the black anymore because it would have been really pretty too. But hot pink, 15. <laughs> and um, yeah. She's got the braided handles. Can't wait to carry her. I'm glad I'll be ready when it warms up. But bye, y'all.